Our major winter storm finally winding down. Now we have focused our attention on the possibility of record cold. The winter storm has left hundreds of drivers stranded on Interstate 65 in Kentucky. Many people across the state are continuing to deal with a mess left behind by another historic winter storm. Tracking, alerting, protecting. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. Good afternoon, Sam Dick and Amber Philpott reporting. What a 24 hours. For the second time in 17 days, a winter storm has buried much of this state, leaving Kentucky's governor to declare another state of emergency. It has been a tough day for a lot of folks. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey with an update on the situation on this first alert severe weather day. Chris? Yeah, guys, you know, yesterday we were talking, and really over the past couple of weeks, how this would now become the new standard bearer for winter weather years around. Here. Uh, so, for the next year, several years, probably the next several decades, people are going to use this winter from mid February to where we are now as the absolute standard bearer of what to live up to in terms of the worst winter on record, the worst winter period. I think this is it over the past two and a half weeks across central and eastern Kentucky. Snowstorm last night leaving behind history, blanketing the bluegrass state. One to two feet of snow, 17.1 officially in Lexington, the largest two day snowstorm ever for the city. It really only snowed 16 or 17 hours. So we were averaging one inch of snow every hour. You will not find another snowstorm on record in Lexington that can say, it did that. That's how impressive this was. Now, totals across southern and southeastern Kentucky, as we were forecasting yesterday, would be much lower than what your neighbors to the north and west would be seeing. Life first alert defender. Now, we can breathe a little sigh of relief across central Kentucky. That I 75 corridor seeing skies trying to break up into a partly cloudy sky, little hint of some sun, uh, sunshine. Uh, folks across the Hal Rogers Parkway over toward Hazard up to Jackson into Beattyville. Good folks into Boonville, Owsley County seeing a couple of light snowflakes that extend a little farther to the north across the Mountain Parkway corridor. Wolf County, McGoffin County, northeastern Kentucky. Light snows here where we measured better than a foot of snow from Moorhead over toward the Ashland and Greenup areas. Uh, just another sign of how powerful and far reaching of a storm this really was around here. Defender across central Kentucky, nothing going on out there except for the cold conditions. Normal highs right now, 50 to 55 roughly into much of our region. It's 19 degrees in Jackson. It's 21 into Somerset, into Richmond, into Danville, Lexington at 22. Got a little sun here into Frankfurt, boosting that thermometer to 24. So now let's set the stage for the flip from record snow to record cold. We have a deep snowpack on the ground, clearing skies that are slowly but surely working on in from northwest to southeast. So we got to talk record temperatures. Tomorrow morning's record is two below zero, set back in 1960. Forecasting that to be broken in the morning. Got to get the clear skies though. That is a must. So around minus three to minus six across the Lexington Metro, which would break that record. Which by the way, Sam and Amber, is not just a record for the day. Two below zero is the coldest we have ever been for the month of March in the city of Lexington. So tomorrow's temperature will be not only a standard bearer for the morning, potentially, but also potentially for the entire month of March. Absolutely crazy weather. Now, when I come back in a few minutes, I've got a little better stuff to throw at you in the seven-day forecast. But I think from here, it only can get better, right? We hope so, right? It's time to finally talk about something a little yeah. bit better, that's for sure. Well, as we've been saying, it is another historic snowstorm for Lexington. The double digit snowfall will likely keep people busy digging out for a couple of days. Now, the city of Lexington says the trash pickup that was scheduled for today has been moved to Saturday, weather permitting. Trash pickup for tomorrow has also been canceled. Lexington has activated its homeless plan. Now, since so many shelters are full, we asked a group that shoveled downtown sidewalks during the last storm. That hit Lexington two weeks ago. What has made today's snowfall so different? Uh, the snow's a lot heavier. Uh, it seems to be piling up higher, and it doesn't appear to be stopping. So, yeah, it may be worse. 
Emergency officials say the best thing you can do today is stay home and off the roads. That's something you're going to hear quite a few times uh, for today. Mm -hmm. Emergency officials down in Boyle County say that at least 10 inches of snow fell there. They were busy this morning helping people who slid off the roads. WKYT's Phil Pendleton continues our team weather coverage and shows us the situation from Danville. One thing that I've noticed today is that traffic has been extremely light here in Danville. It's almost like what you see is what you would see in the middle of the night and not in the middle of the day. The emergency management director Mike Wilder tells me that they've had a few cars slide off the road. They've had other problems throughout town, but nothing major. This was Highway 150 between Stanford and Danville. Only about one little strip of blacktop through the middle of one lane, and all the vehicles that I saw were four wheel drive trucks. Emergency officials say they have had a busy day. Had a couple of semis off down in the west end of Boyle County, down on Highway 68 out of Perryville. Uh, those have both been taken care of. And while most people are heeding the advice to stay at home, we have seen a few people get out just for the sole purpose of helping others. We'll show you that coming up at 5.30. But for now, in Boyle County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Well, good news there. Officials in Boyle County say they have not had any major emergencies because of the weather. We are certainly not the only ones feeling the wrath of this latest winter storm. It's the same story over in Louisville. The National Weather Service says the storm dumped up to 17 inches of snow in areas around Louisville down to Elizabethtown. And the snow left hundreds of drivers stranded along Interstate 65. The Kentucky National Guard has been activated to help those people. Some travelers tweeted they had been stuck in their cars for more than 16 hours. Uh, at this time, we have no major issues in the city relative to major calamities. Uh, I-65 in Hardin County is closed due to 200 semis that are stuck there. Uh, there's been problems there since 2 o'clock this morning. Uh, but obviously, we have one significant problem, and that is there is a lot of snow on the ground, anywhere from 12 inches to 16 inches here locally, and as I said, up to 2 feet south and east of here as well. So our snow team, all 265 members total, is working hard in 12-hour shifts around the clock. That's right. He said 200 semis stranded. You've got a great shot there. Coming up on WKYT News at 6 tonight, you'll hear from a Lexington woman. She has been stuck on Interstate 65 in Hardin County for 16 hours. To our north in Cincinnati, up to seven inches of snow fell in some areas. Snow emergencies have been issued for several counties, with northern Kentucky and areas east of downtown hit the hardest. Road crews have been working throughout the day trying to make sure that main streets are clear. Well, many people in eastern Kentucky are dealing with both snow and high water right now. Mitchell Grog is in Perry County now, where floodwaters force some people out of their homes. This section of Main Street is one of at least two that Hazard Police have blocked off due to flooding here. The rain and snow welcomed themselves to downtown Hazard. Coming close to some streets, it did not close. In nearby Jeff, the flooding came closer to houses in this community near Highway 15. The river usually flows through these backyards, but one man who lives here decided to stay with family when the water came too close to his house even though he did not see any damage when he arrived back Thursday morning. We stayed here at about 3 o'clock this morning, and then we, the water kept rising. It wasn't slowing down any, so we had to go stay with the, some family down low there. But the snow still fell Thursday morning, leaving another mess for some folks to clean up. Flood water also covered a parking lot downtown near City Hall. And that was Mitchell Grog reporting. The flooding also destroyed an outbuilding in the Jeff community. It's not just the roads that are affected by this historic snowstorm. About a dozen flights are canceled at Lexington's Bluegrass Airport. So if you plan on flying today, it's best to check with your airline because chances are your flight will be canceled. Dozens of you are helping WKYT rural winter by sending us your eyewitness pictures. We appreciate that. Mary, for example, sent us this shot from Anderson County. The snow is beautiful when it's not on the roadways. Okay.
And Barbara posted this picture from Wilmore to our WKYT Facebook page where she used measuring tape to show 24 inches on her deck. It seems a lot of us will need to trade in our WKYT rulers, possibly for a yardstick. We always love to see your pictures. Just send them to eyewitness at WKYT.com and use the hashtag WKYT Rules Winter. Dealing with the potential for record cold across the area as we head into the overnight, we'll break it down for you just ahead.